Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is I, the one, the only, Mr. Noli. Welcome to my 100th video. So today I figured to celebrate, we would do a Q&A video. And yeah, so let's get straight into it. But before I do, I just got a few announcements to make. So the Uncharted series that's going on right now will continue. I got more zombies videos coming soon. I know I haven't been posting any zombies recently, but trust me, I'm planning on getting back on that. I just thought I'd take a little bit of a break just to keep it fresh. And after the Uncharted series is done, I am going to do an Uncharted 4 review, just my thoughts and opinions on the game, how well it was created and developed, and just how it played out overall. I think it was excellent, but I'll be sure to make a review of that later. And speaking of reviews, I made it until Dawn review back in like October of 2015 and never even got around to uploading it. So from like 9 months ago, I feel like I should just put that out there and get it out of my storage space. So yeah, you expect an until Dawn review in case some of you are still debating if you should buy that or not. Along with those videos, I'm also going to start a Town of Salem series. So I've been playing a lot with Z, Virus Boy, which is a friend of mine and a few other people so we'll be sure to bring you videos on that it's a really really fun flash game that you can play in browser just search up town of salem on google and it'll take you straight to the website you can try it out for yourselves and yeah just have a blast with that and also me and the hidden z are gonna have an upcoming series uh we're planning on it right now we did a little bit of recording and some setting up so hopefully fingers crossed it should be out in a couple of weeks and yeah so stay tuned for that and on the side of bad news, I just want to say that June will be a super, super busy month for me because I have diploma exams that month, so I may have to take a break from videos in June, but uh, we'll see how it goes. I might schedule a few uploads just to fill in the dead, empty space of time. So yeah, just don't expect that many videos in June, but I'll do my best to keep uploading during that time. Alright, thank you for sticking with me during those announcements, and now let's move on to your Twitter questions. Our first question comes in from the real Kyle. Will you have sex with me? Nah, no, sorry man. I'm straight. I go for the girls. And when is the Isa house gonna start? Okay, first of all, Isa, International Zombie Annihilators, is a small clan that me and a few friends have created just to make a group of zombie players so we can get together and try out some of the new maps and stuff. I don't know if it's gonna be like phase man, this is like a low-key thing over the internet. But um, I'd be totally down to make one if you're willing to host. I really don't wanna host parties cause those can totally get out of hand dude. People are wild. IZ Express asks, what's it like living in Canada? Um, as I look out the window here, it's snowing. And uh, as I check the weather here, minus 30 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's a pretty good day outside right now. I mean, summer's almost here, so we should start to see a little bit less snow. But uh, it doesn't melt or anything, it just stays on the ground all year round. If you want, you can come visit, but I don't know if it'll be too cold for you. We have a few questions coming in from Blue Woosh. One of the questions at he asked is, What is your favorite video that you have ever done? That is a really, really good question, because I've done quite a few videos that I was proud of. And yeah, it's really hard to choose just a couple, or one actually. A recent video that I was pretty proud of myself was the Derison Track Reverse Rainbow Perk Challenge. I put quite a lot of time into editing that video, and uh, some of the stuff I added in just made the video 20 times better. And I'm pretty proud of that. Also, the thumbnail looks pretty sweet. Another good one I'm proud of was Round 62 on Shadows of Evil montage. I like editing stuff like that, and that made it pretty fun to do. And if I had to choose a third one, I'd go with the karaoke night video. It was really fun just like singing along to our favorite tunes with my friends. And yeah, just killing time that way. That was pretty sweet. The next question he asks is, what is your favorite Call of Duty? Um, I'm gonna have to say Black Ops 2. Probably because that was the very first one that I bought for myself and that I actually owned. So yeah, I'm gonna go with Black Ops 2. But in terms of zombies, I don't know. Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 3 are pretty dang close. So I'm not sure which one would win there. And the final question he asks is, Bernie or Hillary? Honestly, neither of them. <laughs> Honestly, this uh, 
This 2016 election in America is pretty dang bonkers. None of these candidates are worthy in my opinion, and yeah, it's just a total gong show, and watching Donald Trump screw up on everything, like 7-Eleven and all that, <laughs> it's pretty fun to watch. But yeah, I'd have to say neither of them. Kevin Spacey Zombies asks, how many guavas can you fit in your mouth? Probably only half of a guava. My mouth isn't that big. The Hidden Z asks two questions. Will there be any co-op videos soon? Like I said before, you and I are planning a series very soon, so I'm not going to say any more about that. But yeah, some co-op videos are coming up. And the next question he asks is, How do you believe you have progressed over this time period? I started making videos in July, so probably at about 10 and a half months right now. I'm coming up on a year, so that's pretty sweet. I've progressed quite a lot actually. Starting from the beginning, I wasn't really confident in my commentary, but I've really learned to adapt and learn new techniques and editing skills, and I feel like my videos have gotten a lot better over the past few months. Just adding in music, special effects, funny photos, sound effects, and stuff like that. It makes the video a lot better, and I kind of learned how to make uh, thumbnails a lot more, and that's really helped out in the long run. So yeah, I feel like I've progressed quite a lot. Virus Boy asked two questions. The first question he asked is, what's your favorite game at the moment? I don't know, I'm torn between Far Cry 3 and Uncharted 4. Uncharted 4 is just so freaking beautiful. I love the storyline, I love the graphics, I love the gameplay. It all fits together really, really well. Which is why I really, really want to make a review of the game, because it's just brilliant. And Far Cry 3, I really had a lot of fun with that. I put plenty of hours into that game, I managed to platinum it, and it's a really good game that I bought it on both PlayStation 3 and the PC. And yeah, I just I just love the feel of it. it. It's Skyrim with guns, it's open world, you can do whatever you want. It plays a lot like Call of Duty, but more of an open world type game. And yeah, the progression system is really, really good. The storyline is pretty decent. It's not as good as Uncharted 4, but it's a decent storyline. And yeah, I just had a total blast with that. And the second question he asked is, what is the worst game you've ever played? That's a really hard question because normally I'm not too picky about video games. I don't really get bored of video games unless it's really, really bad. One that I can think of was Watch Dogs. I love the concept of like you being a spy and hacking systems and uh, doing like computer techniques and such. But I don't know, something about it just didn't execute quite well. The driving was a little bit wonky. It wasn't as smooth as GTA 5. I really love the world that it's set in, the open world is really really brilliant, but the storyline wasn't really there and the gameplay wasn't really there as well. It might just be the controls, they're a bit clunky, but otherwise the story was pretty stale and I didn't feel deeply attached to the characters in that game. Rectify Rusty asks, do you think that the new Battlefield will outsell Infinite Warfare? There's a possibility, but knowing Call of Duty, I think that because they pulled the Modern Warfare Remastered card, I think that they're still going to sell more copies than Battlefield, unfortunately. Next question comes in from AZK. Lick or corn? Uh, I don't even know what that means. I'm going to go with corn because corn hub, buttered corn, corn on the cob, and the cornfield from transit. The final question comes in from Saz Swift. What are your thoughts on the chair plays? I really like Patrick's chair. I think it's a pretty cool chair. It's leather, so that's brilliant in its own way. And also, its Twitter page is pretty dang awesome. Go check it out if you guys haven't. It's a pretty sweet page. Patrick follows it, so you know it's good. Alright, so ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for this video. I'd like to thank each and every one of you for watching. Sticking with me these past 100 videos, it truly means a lot. And I'm really glad that you guys stuck with me this long. If you guys haven't, please be sure to leave a like on the video. It really helps out a lot. And yeah, leave a comment for which videos you'd like to see next. I can play any game you guys want me to. I can play with anybody you want me to. Unless it's like a big time major YouTuber, then I obviously can't get in with them. But yeah, anything you want to see, leave it in the comments. I'm always open to suggestions, and I love reading what you guys have to say. But otherwise, that's it for me. And until the next video, I shall see you guys all later. Bye-bye.